Good to see ya. I'll get to you in a minute. Sneak this in here.
Clay City High School would like to welcome everyone to the Eel Dome for tonight's varsity contest between the Clay City Eels and the White River Valley Wolverines. Clay City Junior Senior High School administrators, coaches, staff, athletes, and friends believe and take pride in sportsmanship. Displays of unsportsmanlike conduct by student, staff, or fans will not be tolerated and will result in action taken by the administration. Show support for your team by displaying outstanding sportsmanship at all times. Your cooperation is appreciated, and good luck to both teams this evening. And now at this time, I would invite everyone to stand, remove your hats, and join the Clay City Pep Band under the direction of Mr. Adam Rice as they perform our national anthem. And now, here are the starters for tonight's game. First, introducing the visitors from White River Valley. Starting at guard, number 10, Max Hostetter. At forward, number 12, Eli Noel. How are you guys? At guard, number 20, Kobe Morehouse. At guard, number 22, Lane Davis. And at forward, number 40, Blair English. Wolverines are coached by Levi Hostetter. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the starting lineup for your Clay City Heels. Starting at guard, number three, Wyatt Johnson. At guard, number 14, Bryce Wyram. At forward, number 24, Zane Keller. At forward, number 35, Ethan Dog Edwards. And at forward, number 44, Michael Tucker. Heels are coached by Chris Ames and officials for tonight's contest. Aaron Miller, Brian Farnsley, and Michael Polly. Once again, good luck to both teams. All right, welcome back to the Hill Dome. Wow, I don't a think, packed house. I don't think we can beat that, Brad. That uh, Stucky on the mic tonight. He's got some energy. There's some energy in this building and uh, homecoming. We got to crown the queen. Lexi Crab, congratulations. Yeah, big shout out to her. Congratulations on being the 24 homecoming queen. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the, the festivities and the coverage. Get back to a ball game. We got a ball game to play tonight for White River Valley. Starter number 10, Max Hostetter. Number 12, Eli Knoll. Number 14, Trey Greenlee. Number 20, uh, Kobe Morehouse. And uh, Lane Davis, number 22. And I think I skipped one there. Brian Briar English, number 40. All right, Eels turn the ball over. Starters for your Eels. You got number three, Wyatt Johnson. Number 14, Bryce Wyram. 24, Zing Keller. 35, Ethan Edwards. And 44, Michael Tucker. Quick turnover for the Eels. Packed house. And then the Wolverines give it right back. Yeah, 1-2-2 two, two zone. Looks like the uh, Wolverines are in. Get it Warm. in the dog. Nice to Keller. Nice extra pass there by dog. Two to nothing. Good ball movement. Eels are going to go jump them. Pretty good 
Oh, wow. Shovel pass underneath. Looks like they kind of. Lane Davis for two. Johnson will reset it. Like River Valley sticks in that one. Into Keller. Back up top, Johnson. Inside to Edwards. Edwards. Two more. Yeah, I tell you what, you get, he, you get him down the block like that, it's over. So uh, four to two, Clay City. Briar English going to have his hands full down there. Yeah, one three one zone here for the Eels. Ball pressured out top. It all depends on how Zane does a job up there. He's getting the ball pressure, this wingspan. That's a good, oh, I don't know how. Get the touch foul. How he called that from this side of the Going to get Johnson with the foul. That'll be his first, team's first of the quarter. Four to two. White River Valley comes in this contest, I think, six and eight on the year, and the Eels are 13 and three, so. Inside, English can't handle the pass. The Clay City basketball, 6.09 left to go here in the first. Yeah, we need to do a better job down there on that weak side. Uh, they're moving it pretty quick, and they've had a couple looks if they would have got it to them, but they just didn't, so. Wyrm's going to shoot a three, no good. Three down, Tucker. On the baseline, back out. Up top to Keller. Swinging around, Michael Tucker from the corner, in and out. Keller comes down with it. Yeah, he just lost it. Lost it off his foot. 4-2. Be Wolverine basketball. <laughs> Wolverine's coming off a close win against Owen Valley. Last, Was that last night? Last night, yeah. 28-26. I think if you... Uh, Oh, wow. We were heading down the other end there. Johnson the steal. Up for two and the bucket. That's good for Wyatt. He's uh, He needs some confidence builder, and that's going to be – that'll help out. 6-2 Clay City. Hits the free throw. Eels are going to press. 2-2-1, two, two, full court. We get defense by the Eels. Stop right there. Oh, Bryce. Drive. Lost the handle. Wyrum picks it up. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, you don't want to get up. That's just a natural thing you want to do, right? But mm -hmm. uh, it's a travel, so seven to two. Jump shot banked in for number 20. Morehouse, Morehouse. yeah. Seven to four. Clay City. White River is going to stick in that 1 2 2 zone until we uh, hit some outside shots. Tucker off on that one. That was the old uh, alley oop shot there. And uh, White River Valley read that one pretty good. That wasn't a real shot there. Was, Bryce was going to try to come off a screen and, and lay that one up, but uh, just not executed. Three-point shot from the corner. Hostetter. 
Eels kind of off to a slow start. Tied up at seven. Inside Edwards. Yeah. That's some good medicine right there. Get a quick bucket. You need to tighten up the defense down here. We're letting them get way too many good looks. Uh-oh. Dunk time. The oh, I thought it. Killer. Oh, wow. Fouled on the shot. He'll go to the line shoot two. Yeah, give Noel credit for hustling back, or that was probably going to be a throwdown. So. First one up and good. Johnson with a three-point play, good, good start. Coach giving a little suggestions down there. Hits the second, 11 to seven. Eels are gonna stick with the pressure. Three minutes to go. Good recovery there. Shot up and good by English. Eels kind of had a slow start last night in the first quarter, but uh, got it going late. Hill in the ball game. Up top, Hill on the drive. Mm. Eels throw it away. Trying to hit Michael Tucker on that baseline. Dalen Keller is going to come in. Going to give Michael Tucker a break. Going to have the Keller and Keller show. Neil's going to go man. <coughs> Kicked out. Three-point shot on its way. Briar English. Eels trail for the first time tonight. English with the last five points for the Wolverines. Just like I said, all every game we play from here on out, we're going to get our best. They're going to get their best shot at us. And uh, Keller, no good. Rebound, Wyram. They're going to get. Uh, they're going to get English with the push, I yeah. believe. I think that's his, uh, is that his second? Yeah, second foul, that's pretty big. It'll be team's third. A minute 50 left to go here in the first. Inbound to Hill. Hill drives, backs it back out. Inside, Edwards. Yeah, they were mugging him. Fouled on the shot. Foul's gonna be on number 12, Eli Knoll. His second. So they got two, uh, Noel and uh, English have two fouls apiece. Be teams four. The Eels will be shooting two. Next foul. I, I, I guess. A little confusion uh, here. Huh? I guess he, they say he wasn't shooting, but uh, sure looked like it to me, Brad. Oh, well. He'll get it that way. Yep. <laughs> One Two way more for Ethan Edwards. Yep. up uh, Dalen Keller with a foul. Had a moving screen out here, but uh, not calling it. Yeah. 
Inbound shot up and good yeah. by 22, Lane Davis. Our defense is a little bit suspect right now. Um, that's just effort. Keller no good. Saved by Zane. Be out on White River Valley. Be Clay City basketball. Zane. Trey Dayhoff checks in the ball game. Zane will sit down and take a break. 14-13 White River. No good for Wyrm. Rebound by Trey. Kicks it out. Don't with Hill. the spin. Wyrm for three. Mm. Won't go. Man, just threw it away. Yeah, White River throws it away. Dayhoff to wow. Edwards. Edwards trying to get it there. Had to go the long way. That'll put him at the line. If he was shooting. Was he shooting? I think he was that time. I think they're going to game the shot. <laughs> we got to get some buckets to fall from the outside to kind of free up the middle. So uh, this is a first. That's a rear. Just got to keep shooting. Uh, those shots are right there, and uh, they're going to get one to fall here eventually. So 35 seconds to go. Misses both. Mm. Rebound controlled by the Wolverines. Another slow start by the Eels. Under 20 seconds. Drive to the basket. Nothing there. Mm. Tied up by Wyram. There you go. Jump ball. Stay here with the Wolverines. Yeah, 4.9 seconds left. Going to get Wyram with the foul. Two and a half seconds left to go here in the first. Logan Stolding checks in for the Eels. Nice job. Up. Oh, no good. So that'll be the end of the first. White River Valley, 14, Clay City, 13. Try to get it going here, second half. Back here at the Yield Dome, fourth quarter number two. One point ball game and a packed house here at the Yield Dome. Also honoring the class of 74 and the class of 99. Trying to get some shots to fall tonight. We've had some 
four or five good looks at it. Inside to Edwards. It's not falling. Got Edwards, Dalen Keller, Trey Dayhoff, Dalton Hill, and Logan Stolding, your five, starting out this second. Give White River credit. They're, uh, they're attacking the basket, and uh, we're not doing a very good job of defense right now. Letting, letting, letting them get too much penetration there in the middle, and uh, that normally doesn't bode well. When That'll be Wolverine basketball. 15-14. Not sure what's going on here, but it's just Wolverine basketball is play. Oh, that was a kick. Nice job by Trey to get the get in the passing lane there. Tied up. Stole him playing hard. They're letting him get away with a lot of fouls, so uh, you just got to match what the uh, ref's going to give you. And uh, Clayson needs to be a little bit more aggressive here. Ooh. Dog got lucky there, didn't pick up the foul. Travel. Logan Stolding picks up the foul. Yeah, I thought they were going to call travel, didn't you? <laughs> I'm not sure how you don't call one and call that for a foul. Yeah, uh-oh, uh-oh. Dog to the other end and the dunk. <laughs> Eel fans on their feet now. Yeah. Maybe that'll... Uh, yeah, Liven thing. things up here. There we go. Dalton Hill with the rebound. Heels back the other way quickly. Hit that. Get in there. Boom. Keller for three. Timeout, Wire River. Just like that. 6.02 left to go here in the first half. Yeah. It's amazing what a dunk can do to get a crowd into the game, especially when we have the lackluster start. But, uh, hey, want to give a shout-out to our sponsors tonight uh, and all season, B&B Storage here in Clay City, Indiana. They have large and small storage needs. Give them a call today. Stop by and see them. And then we got Movement Mortgage with uh, Beth Harris, www.borrowwithbeth.com. Get in touch with her for all your – Home mortgage needs. Also, my phone would hurry up here. There we go. Other sponsors tonight, Corey Apple Festival, Lynn and Steve Stoldy, Jack and Terry Shawwacker, Mark Corbin Construction, give him a call, Ted and Stephanie Jackson, Don and Martha Wells, Lloyd and Lana Hendricks, Dennis and Jill Andrews, Terry Funk, Sugar Ridge Pine with Doug and Annette, Green, Connie Sheehan, memory of Wally Horn, and Brookside Medical Home Visit, Chuck and Shauna Ames. So thank you to all our sponsors uh, for the 2023-24 season. This uh, this five's got it going. Uh, the, the dunk always helps, right? Yeah, that always wakes everybody up. Yeah, I love to see the elementary kids down there with signs and uh, love to see that. Pretty good timeout. Bucket for the Wolverines. That's Lane Davis with the lay in. Keller at the top, over to Stolding on the wing. Back up to Hill. Hill drives. Mm. Gets his own rebound, and the shot's blocked. Yeah, he's going to go to the foul line. Hostetter's going to pick up the foul. Got fortunate there. The ball bounced right back in his hands and uh, went back up, got fouled. Mm. 
talk about uh, here shortly. We'll talk about a big promotion coming up here for the Terre Haute North game. We'll get some details here shortly and uh, talk about the free throw frenzy, I think, is what we're going to – is that what they're calling it, the free throw frenzy? Free throw frenzy, Terre Haute North. And we'll talk about whatever you're going to give them away. So, so here's the deal. If a visiting team player misses two free throws consecutively, uh, free popcorn on the house. So hopefully the student section and all the crowd will get involved and uh, get you some free popcorn if we can get them to miss two free throws in a row. So and That's the first half, and I think second half, uh, Cokes. Yeah, Ter that's Terre Haute North. Oh, wow. That hurt. Hope everybody's okay. Walking it off. Yeah, they would have to call an ambulance for me and you, I think, wouldn't it? <laughs> it is the second quarter. They may have to call it anyway. Yeah, I think so. Tucker's going to come in for Deha. Oh, wow. <laughs> I tell you what, Stolding, he plays some physical defense. Jump ball. I think they brought Stolling in to beat up on Hofstetter for a while. What do you think? Seems to be working. Yeah, they're uh, they're letting them play, I tell you. 21-16. Got away the walk there. Down on the baseline. Tucker the rebound. Push it ahead to Hill. Hill lays it up, won't yeah, go. It's kind of a rush shot there. Wine's going to come back in. They're going to pick up Hill, I think. Stolding picks up stolen. his second. Third. Wow. Third. Third. Yeah, they're going to take Stolling out now. He just picked up his third, so. Tough uh, there, playing some hard-nosed defense, and uh, picks up his third foul. Edwards with some nice hustle. Tucker collects the loose ball. Tucker in the corner. Into Edwards. Oh, Edwards wow. shot up and good, and the foul. Wow. He's fun to watch, I tell you. He hits some shots, and he just, wow, how you, how did he do that? So, Pretty good inlet pass there by Tucker. Yeah. He passed it in where he, where Ethan was going to be, not where he was. Yeah, that uh, these kids have played with each, played, uh, you know, in team sports all together all these years, and they, and they know. And in the process, Edwards got that, his defensive man on his hip, and Oh, wow. I thought that was going to be on Wire River, but they called that on Zane Keller. So That'll be Keller's first. Yeah, 23-16. Team's fourth. Heels go back to the 1-3-1, one, one, it looks like. Kind of a 1-3-1 one, one matchup, I more like. Steal. Ooh. Hofstetter for two. Good shot. Pretty good defense. Keller. Swing it. Rice. Cross court to Keller. For Keller three. for three. Good. That's what ball movement will get you. Quick open shot, and Keller knocks it down. Heels up by eight. Heels kind of gambling out there. Mm. Shot up, good. Wow. 
Morehouse, Morehouse for three. I believe, yeah. And cuts it to five. Wolverine staying right in there. Into Edwards. To Keller. Out to Wyram. Wyram will go in. Now good. Strong. Man. Wolverine's back the other way quick. Yeah. Man. Huge hustle out of Hostetter there. He just beat everyone down the floor. Yeah, that was uh, pretty quick. But uh, I don't know. Chris wasn't too happy. I don't, you didn't get a foul call down here. But you still got to play. And we're missing a lot of easy looks at the basket. Huh? Bryce missed a shot there. And uh, we got to do a better job. Seems like, seems like right now White River's knocking those shots down and we're not. So that's the difference in the game. Uh, we got uh, cheerleader basketball down here. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Or throw the pom-pom <laughs> at the cheerleader. At Kennedy. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, just throw them. 26-23. 221 to go. Or no, I think that was Brindley. Yeah. Throw the throw the pom pom. It's kind of like the Chuck a Duck coming up. Yeah, we got a big Chuck a Duck tonight. Tucker for three. Good. Twenty nine, twenty three. Give give Wire credit, man. They're they're playing hard, being aggressive. Tucker with the steal. All the way to the bucket. That cost Stetter. That's going to be his second. So we'll have the ball out of bounds. Twenty-nine, twenty-three. Tucker to inbound. Into Keller in the corner. In and out. In and out. Yeah. Thought that was going to go down. Wolverines will slow it down. Ooh. Shot up. No good. <laughs> One fifteen to go. Heels up by six. John Harold had this one uh, 58-35, so... We got some work to do, that's for sure. We need to tighten up the uh, screws on the defense and get some shots to fall. Oh, nice. Robbed into Edwards. Nice. That's just good. Hostetter jumped that passing lane and they went right over the top. Yeah, just good solid basketball. Uh, Draw the defense in and kick it inside. So 31 23. <laughs> That's going to be the 15 foul on Clay City, so we're shooting. So I, I don't know. Uh, it's probably not what you wanted there with uh, under 20 seconds to go before halftime. But uh, Hostetter will go to the line shoot too. It's the first. See if we can't get a shot here off before the uh, halftime. Hits them both. Hits them both. Yeah. Wire for three. Oh. Man, in and out again. Yeah. Mm. 
Here's Tucker with the over the back, I believe. I can't buy no. one. Gonna get Keller. No. Guess it was on Tucker. Yeah, they're shooting free throws. Huh. It was on Keller. It'll be his second. River Valley, three with a chance to make it four points with no time on the or no time coming off the clock. There yep. we go. Misses the second. Up to Hill. Hill on the drive. Puts it up. Won't go. No shot. Yeah, it won't count. At the buzzer. They'll go to the locker room. Clay City leads 31-26. We'll be back here shortly with the second half.
You report over here. And second closest at the center target, the winner is unbelievably yours truly, Mr. Stuckey. Thank you, Kevin Grillity, for your $75 gas gift card. That'll pay off when I come over here to sub. I'll come here to sub. And the winner of the 50-inch TV. Let's do the queen. Oh, excuse me. We also have a queen duck. The queen's got to pick a number, a random number of all the people that bought a uh, duck tonight. And if that number was chosen and you were the lucky one to have the number that the queen chose, you will win a $100 Walmart gift card is courtesy of Boo Pediatric Dentistry, and the lucky number was 375 David Lucas. 375 David Lucas. Congratulations! You won yourself a $100 Walmart gift card courtesy of Boo Pediatric Dentistry. And now the 50-inch TV, which we have right down here, courtesy of John Boyer, Heather Keller from State Farm, goes to Anna Marie Bott. Anna Marie Voss. Congratulations, Anna Marie. You won yourself a 50-inch TV. Thanks to First Armors Bank and Trust for sponsoring Chuck and Duck and all the other official sponsors tonight. Well, we've got the winner of the TV. I think it's bigger than she is. Congratulations. Don't forget to support the Bay Boosters with their brownie sundaes up there, root beer and coke floats. And thank you, Evan Realty, for the cases you are. I don't see him. Ducks are good. Ducks are good. I can find David. I'll go get it. Yeah, you're running it. I'll tell you this later.
All right, welcome back here to the Yield Dome. Getting ready for the second half of basketball. Clay City leads 31-26. Getting some uh, halftime stats here put together. Have them here just in a few minutes. Had the chuck -a duck Had what, four big winners on the chuck -a duck I believe. Gave away a 50-inch TV. Couple $50 gift cards. And a $100 gift card, I believe. So, yeah, if you're sitting at home, get to the Yield Dome for a home game. Get into the chuck -a duck Yeah, a quick uh, halftime stats for the White River Valley. Max Hostetter with 10. Uh, Morehouse with 5. Davis with 6. And English with 5 for your Eels. Uh, Johnson, Wyatt Johnson with 3. Hill with 1. Zane Keller with 4. Um... Ethan Edwards with 14, Dylan Keller with six, and Michael Tucker with three. So foul trouble, Zane and Stolting. Zane Keller and Stolting with two. And they've got uh, Hostetter, Noel, and English with two. So Eels go back with the starters. Johnson's going to pick up the foul. Hostetter's going to go to the line. Hits the first. Again, hope uh, Eels aren't going to have one of those hangover games from a big game last night, big win. So we'll uh, we'll see. This has been a big quarter for us, the third quarter. So we'll see what the Eels come out. Three and do. point ball game. Tucker's Tucker, shot good. up and good. Good shot by Michael Tucker, 33-28. I'm good. If we don't do something, you can go get me one. Johnson picks up another foul, and uh, Hill's going to come in for him. So, Hostetter's going to go to the line again. Misses the free throw. We talked about this, you know, Brad. Whoever we play from going out, it doesn't matter what their record is. They're going to come in here or we're going to go on the road. They're going to give us their best game. And if we're not ready to play, it might not end up in our favor. And uh, this could be one of those games. But uh, hopefully kids will get it going here. Well, it seems like every team that plays a good team always steps it up. And yeah. that's, that's always when you play your best game. Hill on the wing inside. Edwards turnaround jumper won't go. Rebound Wolverines. Yeah, I mean the kids played really hard last night. Big win. Um, one by what, five, and uh, looks like they're having a little bit of. I'm not sure if they're tired or what, but. Uh, Never want to just le let a team hang around. No, especially the way White River Valley's hitting some shots tonight. I mean, the, the shots were missing. Uh, the shots were missing. They're hitting uh, right now. So until that turns around, uh, it's going to be a close one. The Wolverine basketball, 622 left to go here in the third. Looks like someone started their car out Yeah, here. Diesel uh, shot up no good. Sounds like we're at a tracker pull. <laughs> yeah, I think we're losing. <laughs> Wire him from the Man. corner won't go. He Rebound Wolverines. 
That's 0 for 5 from the three-point line, and he's got to get it going. Heels are one and done down here. Man. Here in the third. I always tell Bryce if he if he hits, misses three or four in a row, he needs to take it to the basket every dribble you take. English. Double team oh. gets it away. Picked up by Keller. Up to Wyram. Lays oh it up. Won't go. He's just having one of those nights. He can't even hit a Stay layup. Stay here with the Eels. Man. Foul on uh, Morehouse, I believe, with a little push. That'll be his first. Team's first. Into Wyram. Now he's second guessing himself. Yeah, that's not what you want to see. I Over mean. to Tucker, back up top to Hill. Hill on the drive, shovel pass. Edwards for two. Hill's finally on the board here in the third. Yeah, 5.15 to go. I, you know, if you're a shooter, you just got to keep shooting um, until they take you out of the game. So <laughs> <laughs> that's the way I look at it. So he traveled. Good defense. Up top. No good. We're going the other way if they can get it going. Oh, wow. Bullet pass. Nice job. Zane Keller for two. Timeout. Just like that, lead goes back to eight. I always tell him, too, though, it, even if you're not scoring, you can still do other things like that pass right there and the rebound. And uh, so, I don't know. You, you're going to have those nights, you know. Hey, give you an update. ISU winner tonight in overtime, 95 to 86, I believe. So, uh, ISU picks up a big win tonight. Who won the Bradley game? I'll have to check on that. Let me do that real quick. They're going to recognize the alumni at the third period. They're going to have to hustle to get that going. Um, I think we had so much going on tonight. Hope we didn't get a chance, but they'll read those names off and, and get those guys recognized. The class recognized. of 74 and the class of 99. The 25 and 50 year class reunions. Yeah, Drake went on to beat uh, Northern Iowa 77-63 and Indiana State 95-86. So pretty big win there for the Sycamores. They got uh, Drake coming in to the Hallman Center, I think, next Saturday. So 37-29, Eels kind of open up a little bit of a margin tonight. That's the biggest one they've had so far. I think we get up up 10 and we'll start rolling. Oh, Eagles nice. Picks it out, blocked by Edwards. There you go. And uh, WRV throws it away, 425 yeah. left to go here in the third. Got them playing a little bit quick, and uh, they throw it away. Looks like Matthew Sams checks in the game. Yeah, Morehouse has a little blood on his hand, but uh, I think he'll be able to hide that one. 37-29. Wire him in the corner. Up to Keller. He's not even looking to shoot now. Up to Hill. Hill in the lane, won't go. Gets his own rebound. Keller spin move to the basket. Wow. Good move. 39 to 29, the largest lead tonight for the Eels. And uh, again, that third period, that's when we've done our separation and it's happened in here again tonight. We can keep you going. And it all starts down here with defense, just like that. Tucker staying after it. There you go. Good. Oh, wait a minute. We got a little injury here. Trainer be going out in the court. I think we got uh, hit his head over there. Number 22. Wayne Davis, uh, I think it might have got a uh, laceration on the forehead or eye or something. Tucker gives him a pat on the back. <laughs> He'll be all right. Put a little butterfly in there. I think we got some blood on the floor again.
Tucker. And he was going to clean the floor up, but uh, that's not going to help. Uh, they, uh, you got to get. Uh, they put the whoa on that pretty quick. Yeah, you got to get some gloves and. Uh, Anyway. Tucker's idea would have been a lot faster. Yeah, there we go. They got the uh, trainers doing double duty here. He's got. Uh, oh, there comes Mr. Rodney Smith. Yeah. Prepared as always. He's got it. We were a little bit uh, tardy on that during the classic. And uh, a little bit quicker action tonight. Blood on the floor. Got everybody out on the floor now. Yeah. There's Kiefer's out there. Rodney Smith looking at it. <coughs> not Give sure. coaches both time, both time to talk to their teams. Yeah. Not sure why. Uh, Takes so long to clean up a few drops of blood, but um, anyway, again, want to keep you guys informed that uh, come back here Thursday night. This Thursday night, we'll uh, Shackamack comes to town. Another uh, Swiat game. Swy and uh, Shackamack's playing North Central tonight. That'd be interesting to see that score. Bloomfield's playing Evansville Christian. That will be an interesting score to look at, too, because that Evansville Christian team is really good. So see what that score looks like. Next week, girls' sectional down there at, uh, what is it, North Knox? I think North Knox. you got North Knox and South Knox in that sectional. That's one and two in uh, 1A girls' basketball. Yeah. I heard they some, yeah. also got... Linton's Someone there. Out. Yeah, Linton. and There's a couple ranked teams or two or three ranked teams in there. I heard him, I heard someone talking at work about they've informed everybody that there's only limited parking space down there. And you can't park on the grass right now because you'd sink a car. And you can't park on the highway, the state road out there. So they're basically telling people to either carpool or take a bus to get buses going out there because if you uh, if the parking lot's full, you're not going to get in the game. So go early. Yeah, go early, stay often. But yeah, that ought to be a pretty uh, interesting sectional down there. Yeah. This has been about a what about three or four minute. Uh, Blood cleanup. Well, that's that's fine. I mean, uh, just want to get the court uh, cleaned and ready to play, and it kind of gives the kids some time to catch their breath. And if I was playing, this would be much needed. A little breather. Yeah. I think he's uh. Got the parents down there and must be bleeding pretty good. So uh, hope he's okay. That'll be a. Uh, you can take that scar he gets from that, and that'll be a conversation piece. Yeah, I think we got it all ready to go. 340 to go. Eels up by 10. And I think we're finally ready to go again. So uh, here we go. Kind of killed the momentum we had going, really. I mean, we jumped out to an eight-point lead and uh, a ten-point lead. and Now we got to get her back going again. Yeah. Over to Tucker on the wing, cross court, wiring for three from the corner. Man. In and out. Edwards trying to get it back in. Keller with the rebound. He'll go back at it. There you go. Wire uh, cannot buy a bucket right now. That thing looks like it's going in and it just pops right back out. So uh, not a good night shooting. Floater up and good. For Morehouse. Morehouse. 
Nice. Nice. That's a set play where they get it into dog and back pet Tucker and uh, and one's coming. Daylon's going to come in. That foul will be on Eli Noel. That'll be his third. Some nights you have nights like that. I mean, it just, it, it, they all look good. Uh, they just keep popping out. Forty-four thirty-one. I'll say this: he 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 hit some big shots last night. I'm glad he did it last night <laughs> to tonight, but uh, he wanted to hit him all the time. So on the drive, nothing there. Back up top. Nice, Steve. Oh my gosh. Nick Tucker with the foul on the no, drive. No, how 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 more how better can you guard a kid, right? I mean, thought that was pretty good defense. That'll be two on Tucker. Three on the team. Two eighteen left to go here in the third. Hostetter on the drive lays it up, blocked. Oh, man, they'll get it back. English can't get it to go. Noel try it. He's fouled on the shot. That'll be Michael Tucker's third. Wolverine fans wanting the foul. Just over two minutes left to go here in the third. Yeah, Hill's up by 13, largest lead yet, but uh, Tucker's. That'll put Noel at the line. Tucker's got three. It's the first. This is the second. The rebound, Tucker. Under two to go in the third. Nice. Inside, Edwards for two. Yeah, it's just too much for uh, the White River Valley defense there. And Edwards having his way tonight. Good defense. Stop him. Zane's going to pick up. I'm going to shoot foul shots. Uh, it's going to be Zane's third, I think. Yeah, Zane has three, Tucker has three, and... Uh, Stolting with three. Noel's going to go to the line. They're going to put uh, Trey Dayhuff and Stolting in. Noel hits the first. Tucker and Zane will take a break. Really got some... A uh, couple, uh, one or two cheap fouls down there, so... Twelve-point lead. White River is going to pick us up. Get it across. Yeah, good job by Dalen. Stolding, no good. Oh wow! Ethan with the rebound gets his own rebound, puts it back for two. Yeah. Can't believe how they, man. Under a minute. Oh, man. 14-point lead. Hostetter tries to get it up. Heels back the other way. He got fortunate there. Heel. And the foul. Yeah, we got fortunate there. He was straight up, but uh, there's some pretty good contact. Foul on Morehouse. That'll be his second. 40.9 seconds to go. Yeah. 
Dalen inbounds to Hill. Over to Stoling on the wing. Back around. Keller down on the baseline. Jumper. Good. That's a nice move from a freshman. Uh, two big points and the leads up to 16, largest of the night. I tell you what, I'm excited for that young man. I'm excited to see that because that's exactly what we need coming off the bench. Shot up, no good. English short on the shot. That's going to be the end of the third quarter. Clay City kind of taking control after the third quarter. Clay City 50, White River Valley 34. Take a break. Be right back. Class of 1974 and 1999 just announced. Loose ball. Stoller up to Stolding. Got away the walk. Yeah, he traveled. Looks like it didn't take the uh, homecoming court to get out of the their dresses and into uh, shorts and get into the uh, cheer block over there. Yep. Once again, big shout out, Lexi Crab, your 24 homecoming queen. Shot up and good by Hofstetter. Completes the three point play and right back to his 13 point lead for the, uh, for the Eels. Hill drives in, back out. Keller on the wing. He'll drive. Lose it, get it back. Yeah, good for two more. Wow. He's having a night tonight. 52-37. Good block. Keller tied him up. Edwards comes up with he it. He wants the ball over there again. Give it to him. Give it to him. There you go. Shoot Cross that young court. man. Get in there. Three-pointer. Nope. And a foul. That'll be on Trey Dayhoff. That'll be his second. A lot of tie shoe, shoes tying going on. That's the fourth time I've seen kids tie their shoes tonight. When we coached these kids way back in elementary, we, we threatened to goo duct tape one time, Brad, because uh, every time you turned around, they were tying shoes. So, Or Velcro, one of the two. 
Nice oh, hustle. Nice job by the Eels. Yeah. Tried to throw it off Trey. Good hustle by Clay City. Edwards picks it up before it goes out of bounds. Inside. Nice look. Back out. Keller drives. Nice. Finds Edwards with the reverse. He's on fire tonight. Keller and uh, Dog. He had 14 at halftime, so he's at least got uh, 24, I bet. He's at least got 16 now. Yeah. <laughs> well, he I just know hit he's two. He's got uh, he's got to be in the 20s. That's a block. Stolding with the block. Trey pushes it up to Hill. Hill to Stolding. Stolding on the baseline. Won't go. No good. Heels up by 17 with 5.35 to go. Oh, wow. Foul on Dalton Hill. That'll bring Johnson back into the game. Hill take a seat. That'll be the first on Hill. That'll be the third team foul for the Eels. Yeah, they're going to be shooting. Still over again. five minutes left to go here in the half, or in the quarter. Morehouse for two. 54 39. Kicked out. Dalen for three. Good. Man. That's a good sign for the Eels because uh, if you can get a you can get production from a freshman like that off the bench. That uh, that's a good sign. Heels up to 18. Timeout, White River Valley. Full timeout, White River Valley. Yeah, alumni pet band over there. Sounding real good. A dangerous Dave. Hammerman <laughs> over there on the bass guitar. Yeah. His sister down there on the clarinet. That's somebody dressed like Dracula in the band, too, over there to the left. You see that? I do see that. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Huh? Count Chocula over there. <laughs> well, it uh, definitely has not been a pretty game, to say the least, um, from Clay City. But given the hard-fought game we had last night, you're still up by 18, and you know, I guess, <laughs> I guess our standards are getting too high for us here, but. Uh, I know Bryce would Good like enough. to. Bryce would like to forget this night. I can tell you that. Uh, just a horrible well, shooting night, but uh, you're going to get that. But you got to love it when your other teammates step up to the plate. Exactly right, uh, and that's what's so huge about this team. And they even said it on WTW, uh, WTHI last night. <laughs> he can't even get the ball. He didn't quit though. No. Nope. Edwards over to Tucker, back up top. They'll reset it. Nobody can hang on to the ball. Johnson and the foul. Yeah, WTHI said last night, these guys are a bunch. There, there's really no star player, even though I think you could probably make an argument for Edwards tonight. Uh, there's just a lot of guys. Everybody's good. So four or five guys in there, uh, you don't know who's going to score every night, and that's a good problem to have. Hits the... Uh, Three-point conversion. Eels are up by 21. Oh. 
has a quick kind of look up, and you're up by 21. I just. Uh, Long three-point shot up and good for Morehouse. Don't forget, we'll be back on the air Thursday night here at the Yield Dome. Shackamack comes to town, another uh, Swayak conference game. So far, we're undefeated. In, well, no, we got beat by Lint. I'm sorry. We, we've only been beat by Lint in this Swayak. So, uh, what I meant to say, so far, teams in our sectional were undefeated against. So, that's a good problem to have. And then we'll be on the road Friday night for girls sectional. Yeah. I think Green County Sports Network is going to do the whole sectional. They had a donor donate the whole for the whole sectional, but we'll do ours. He'll clear it. Wyrm's going to get it, set it back up. Heels up by 18. Tucker, he's got that baseline cut really down really nicely. So he's going to go to the foul line, shoot two. Yeah, the official, what, what he's doing, if you notice... We, uh, we got this floor, what, four or five years ago? How long we've had this? About five years. And they actually just resurfaced it, uh, the varnish, the layer top. There, I've been told there's so much humidity in this gym, fluctuations. Uh, the, the varnish peels off, and it doesn't last more than two years. So if you walk out there after the game, you can pick up pieces of varnish off the floor. Um, from the gym here, floor here, but um, still a nice looking floor. Not, it doesn't hurt the, the playing surface or anything. It's just they have to uh, varnish it and keep it up. But it's also one of the nicest looking floors oh, around. Yeah. Oh yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't trade this gym for nothing. I mean, this floor, this gym, this atmosphere. It's a great place. Uh, nothing worse than going to a gym that's got a rubber floor. Yeah, I hate that. You just can't. It's just not the same. Heels up by 20. Shot up and good for Moorhead. Or Morehouse, I'm sorry. Sawyer into the game. He snuck in there on us. If I get Betty in here pretty soon. Johnson to the rim. Nice. Two more. That's big for him. He's kind of been uh, lacking in confidence there a little bit. So uh, heels up by 20 again. Tucker. Substitution timeout. It's going to be uh, Wyrm, Johnson, Sawyer, Bettenbrock, and Camp to finish out this one with 2.15 to go. See if uh, Rice can get uh, something to fall. Betty. Going to post him up again. Johnson for a three, no good. 150 to go. Floater up, won't go. Rebound camp. Rice will push, gets it into Betty. 
Up for two, no good. Betty up. His own rebound. Oh, wow. Ball, no good. Oh, that was too long of a pass. Wow, we. Wire them with the foul. They'll get in the books after all. I'll be Wyram second, team's fourth. That'll put English at the line. This is the first. Logan Stobing checks in for the Eels, along with Dalen Keller. It's another win. That's what you got to keep winning, right? Just keep winning. Keep rolling. Yep. Keep him rolling. One oh four to go in the game. Good job by Stolting. Stolting with the steal up to Camp. Camp will lay it up. Oh, Won't wow. go. The Wolverine ball. <laughs> Chris is still lobbying for a call down here, and I, I think it was off on Wolver Wire Valley. But uh, under one, one minute to go in the game. And a foul. Uh, last thing you want to do is foul in one of these games, just get it over with. And That'll be on Keller. That'll be his fourth. Coaches are having a pretty good time over here talking about uh, the, the officiating. He's sitting there laughing. The official's sitting there laughing. They're talking about him. So. <laughs> 64. 45. Nice move, Stolting. Sawyer with the putback. Yeah, they're going to call on the floor. Twenty nine seconds to go. Stolting will inbound. To camp. Camp for three. Boom. 67-45, Play City. John Harold had this at a 23-point margin. Um, he was a little off on the score, but point spread right on. They would love him in Vegas, wouldn't they? Mm-hmm. Good block by... Dalen, and that will be the end of the ball game. Clay City's going to win their 14th game of the season. They moved to 14 and 3 on this homecoming night, and congratulations to Lexi Crab. You're the 24. Yeah, 2024 homecoming queen. Not probably one of the most prettiest games we played, but uh, at this time of the year, Brad, a win's a win, right? Two wins in one weekend. You can't beat that. Yeah, if you would have told me uh, you go down to North Davies, then you play at home, and you go 2-0, and I'm taking it, right? We've got, uh, we've got a big week next week. We've got some uh, junior high action there Monday and Tuesday. Uh Varsity and JV will be back in action on Thursday here at the Yield Dome. And then girls sectional Friday night. Yep. I think we'll call tonight. Uh, appreciate uh, you guys tuning in. Hope you enjoyed our homecoming uh, coverage. And uh, 
enjoyed the game with us as too as well. Come uh, come back with us Tuesday, Thursday night. We'll be back on the air when Shackamack comes town. So for Shane Wire, Brag along, Scott Harris, Mr. Jeremy Boo, and thanks to Evan Dickerson yep. down here. Big Evan, shout, big shout out he's to gone. Our, new, our new production manager over here too. Yeah, nice job, Jake Long. Jake Long on the controls. Well, thanks, Jake, for filling in tonight. Thank you. Well, I, Scott might lose his job. So, <laughs> all right, have a great evening. We'll be back with you Thursday. All right.